This week, gold bullion prices in China traded at record premiums to other international and Western derivative-driven prices. A sign of Beijing's escalating battle to defend its currency, the fiat yuan renminbi. Bullion on the Shanghai Gold Exchange traded at a premium of more than 120 fiat US dollars per troy ounce on Thursday, September 14th. That's the highest since the exchange was founded over two decades ago. As recent weak gold importation permits and an increasingly weaker fiat yuan collided to drive up local bullion prices to all-time highs on both a nominal and percentage basis, at least in gold terms. Premiums on silver in China also have been rising, going over 7% this past week, above the quoted London silver price fixings. And while that sounds and looks high, looking over the last year of data, you may be fooled. If we pull back over the last decade and a half or so, we see that Chinese paid exorbitant premiums for lower priced silver during the most of the latter 2010s. If you can see the red line below, often they would pay in the low teens percentage over the London price fixings. Let's look at the bigger picture here. Just a quick glance at the annual gold price chart in China throughout this full fiat currency era, and we can see their local gold price in fiat yuan renminbi terms is on the cusp of a major breakout which could lead to years of positive price performance blue bars up and to the right, higher and higher to come. Hot money is always trying to escape capital-controlled China, and given all the recent talk of more stimulus to spur on its slowing economy, understandably many locals are looking to find ways to hedge their long-term savings via bullion and or high-grade gold jewelry items. It's a common fear among mainland Chinese investors and savers. The very real threat of fiat yuan renminbi devaluations. Because during a large portion of many of their lives, from 1980 to 1994, they saw their local currency devalue sharply versus our fiat US dollar value, ballooning from a low of 1.5 fiat yuan to one fiat US dollar in 1980, to a high of nearly eight fiat yuan to one US dollar in a 14 year devaluation run that culminated and peaked in 1994. These local lessons of massive losses to purchasing power are not dying off anytime soon. Those people still live. They're the elders. They have the most currency and capital. And thus, this phenomenon is likely to persist in the coming months and years ahead. Turning to another major fiat currency on the cusp of a devaluation breakout, this is the local Japanese gold price performance synced up with the fiat US dollar gold price performance since the year 2004. You can see that Japan is front running where we in the USA are likely to eventually follow up and to the right. This red resistance line drawn from the end of their late 1980s financial bubble mania phase shows just how close the fiat yen is at the moment to breaking out in relative losses versus the fiat US dollar. Where the Japanese gold price is rocketing off to on the right hand side is anyone's guess, but I would bet higher and to the right will become the norm. And then left for dead, laggard silver in the center, this price chart here. It's eventually going to follow and outperform gold's lead. Hello, this is James Anderson on behalf of SD Bullion. Smash the like button if you enjoy these bullion market updates. And be sure to visit sdbullion.com forward slash sweepstakes to enter our free 500 ounce Silver Eagle coin giveaway. Want to win 500 Silver Eagle coins just like this guy? Yeah, this is Kevin. Hi, Kevin. This is Dr. Tyler Wall, CEO of SD Bullion. I'm calling to you to let you know that you won the SD Bullion giveaway of a monster box of 2022 Silver Eagle. Unbelievable. That is awesome. <laughs> so click the link below for your chance to win. Good luck to all of you out there who enter our free 500 ounce American Silver Eagle coin giveaway sweepstakes. The spot silver and gold markets traded sideways, finishing this week close to where they began. The spot silver price closed just above 23 an ounce bid, while the spot gold price finished at just over 1,924 an ounce bid price. The spot gold silver ratio closed the week flat again at 83. And perhaps the most alarming news item of the week for silver and gold investors was the news that Biden administration and the Department of the Interior are considering changing a 151 year old law in order to begin taking royalties or tax mining on U.S. federal lands. At the moment, there are roughly 750 mines on federal U.S. lands. The article reads, Biden plan would overhaul 151-year-old mining law, make companies pay royalties for copper and gold, 
Of course, you can add anything else that we mine, silver, etc., etc., throughout the federal lands of the United States. The article is written as follows. The Biden administration is recommending changes to 151-year-old law that governs mining for copper, gold, and other hard rock minerals of U.S.-owned lands, including making companies for the first time pay royalties on what they extract. A plan led by the Interior Department also calls for the creation of a mine leasing system and coordination of permitting efforts among a range of federal agencies. This comes as the White House has been pushing to boost domestic mining for minerals needed for electric vehicles, electric vehicles, solar panels, and other clean energy. Under terms of an 1872 law, the U.S. does not collect royalties on minerals extracted from federal lands, a fact Democratic lawmakers and environmental groups have long lamented. The White House plan would impose a variable 4 to 8 percent net royalty on hard rock minerals produced on federal lands. The proposal needs approval by Congress, unlikely when the House is controlled by Republicans who have long opposed such fees. The U.S. stands out amongst other countries such as Australia, Canada, and Chile that collect royalties on minerals. At least a dozen Western states also collect royalties on hard rock mining. Of course, to the point uh, that the article makes about you know, the House being controlled by Republicans, this is basically how the Democrats are thinking. So it's something that you can keep in mind for the future because at some point the Democrats will control the House and this will likely become an issue and something that mining companies in the United States are going to have to contend with. For many U.S. bullion buyers out there watching, at least there is currently a silver lining to most laws as they pertain to precious metals purchases in the USA. While both U.S. political parties seem hell-bent on current and future deficits spending our currently circulating fiat currency's ability to store value into oblivion, there is a growing trend of U.S. states over the last few years who have dropped and repealed wrong-headed sales taxes on investment-grade bullion purchases in most U.S. states now. They are not taxed. Currently, more than half of the 50 U.S. states don't charge taxes on items like silver bullion coins, silver bullion bars, or privately minted silver bullion rounds, for example. The same certainly cannot be said for silver bullion in China, VAT taxed at plus 17%, or the European Union, with nations that also slap on silver bullion sales tax in the high teens or more in many Nordic countries. I suppose it's a glass half full send off for my fellow silver, gold, and platinum bullion bulls out there. At least many of you can buy bullion without sales tax. And finally, to close on a quick personal note from this week, you know, often I end our weekly SD bullion market updates with the sign off of taking great care of yourselves and those you love. Well, those you love are often not merely your fellow human beings. Don't forget to love and care for those cuddly pets that you share your lives with. As I celebrate the beautiful closing of a great 12 and a half year run with my recently late Rhodesian Ridgeback named Saint. I'll see you on the other side, dear doggy. That will be all for this week's SD Bullion Market Update. As always, to you and all yours out there, take good care of yourselves and those you love. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and share it with those you love. Subscribe to our channel and hit that alert button so you know when we publish new bullion market updates.